NASA has just published the first images coming from James Webb Space Telescope, and they are stunning. This marks the beginning of Webb's science operations. Are you ready? On July 12th, NASA revealed the deepest image of our universe ever taken, and it's beautiful. It's the farthest humanity has ever looked before. The image known as Webb's first deep field covers a patch of sky about the size of a grain of sand. It shows the galaxy cluster SMACS0723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. Here you can see thousands of galaxies containing billions of stars. In this area, massive galactic clusters act in concert to create a strong lens, giving us the chance to see objects from the early universe. Webb was able to do that thanks to its enormous primary mirror and its instruments that focus on infrared, enabling the space telescope to peer through dust and gas. In the second one, Webb's focus goes to WASP-96b, a giant gaseous exoplanet located about 1150 light-years from Earth. The planet has about half Jupiter's mass and orbits its parent star every 3.4 days. Here, the telescope has captured the distinct signature of water, along with evidence of clouds and haze in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. This is the most detailed observation ever, and it shows Webb's ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. Webb also captured this light curve of the brightness of WASP-96b's parent star over time. As the planet transits the star's disk, its light dims. Though aspects of WASP-96b were known, Webb's data adds more detail to existing measurements. The next picture is the Southern Ring Nebula, on the left is the image from Webb's NearCam and on the right from the Miri instrument. This is a planetary nebula, an expanding cloud of gas surrounding a dying star. It's almost half a light year in diameter and lies about 2,000 light years away from us. Thanks to this powerful infrared view, we can finally see the nebula's second star, along with beautiful structures created as the stars shape the gas and dust around them. The background points you're seeing are not stars, but whole galaxies. Galaxies. The next image shows the Stevens Quintet about 290 million light years away in the constellation Pegasus. It's mostly known for being the first compact galaxy group ever discovered in 1787. Four of the five galaxies within the Quintet are locked in a cosmic dance of repeated close encounters. These galaxies are in a collision course, pulling and stretching each other in a gravitational dance. Thanks to its mid-infrared instrument, Webb can pierce through dust, giving new insight into how interactions like these may have driven galaxy evolution in the early universe. This enormous mosaic is Webb's largest image to date, covering about one-fifth of the moon's diameter. And the final image for today is one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky, the Carina Nebula, which lies about 7,600 light years away in the Carina constellation. Here's a picture of Hubble and Webb to compare. Unlike Hubble, Webb's ability to peer through dust and gas has given us a rare peek into previously hidden baby stars. This stunning view shows stars in their earliest, rapid stages of formation. For an individual star, this period only lasts about 50,000 to 100,000 years. The cavernous area has been carved from the nebula by the intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from extremely massive, hot young stars located in the center of the bubble, above the area shown in this image. From now on, astronomers will have the opportunity to use the space telescope to explore the infant universe, exoplanet atmospheres, dying stars and star births, the evolution of galaxies, and more. Before releasing its first data and images, Webb has been going through a six-month period of preparation. During this period, the largest and most complex observatory has calibrated its instruments to its space environment and aligned its mirrors. These images are the culmination of decades of work and dedication, and also just the beginning. It took five years for scientists at NASA, the European Space Agency, the Canadian Space Agency, and the Space Telescope Science Institute to work on a project that decided what Webb should look at first. 
After Webb's instrument scientists gathered the first data, they then sent them to the production team to process them into images for astronomers and the public. According to Alyssa Pagan, a science visuals developer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, the process from raw telescope data to the final clean image that communicates scientific information about the universe can take anywhere from weeks to a month. Even better news comes from NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy, who said that Webb could stay operating operational for 20 years. That's double the original lifespan, and according to her, that's due to an efficient launch by NASA's partner Arianas Voss. You can find the images using the link in the description below. What's wonderful is that this is just the beginning. More pictures are on the way. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.